that kind of money for the crap that I got in this box. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie D. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my May BoxyCharm Premium and my May BoxyCharm Base Box. So if you are excited to see what I got in these boxes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. Alright guys, so this is actually the first time that I have ever gotten a premium box. I signed up for it, I canceled, I signed up for it, stayed on the wait list and got it. And boy, I've opened it. And I'm canceling it. I'm not paying that kind of money for the crap that I got in this box. So, we're gonna start with the base box. And this one, as always, is $25 a month and some change for tax. And this is the base box. So when you open her up like this, I know I'm a little bit late, I know, I know, it's end of May, I know. But this is the Mother Nature box. Here's the card and then all of the goodies on the back. So the first thing I will pull out is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I actually chose these for my box um, on the where you get to like choose the day where you choose like one item that's in your box. So this is the one I chose and this is $59. And I've actually been using those secretly. I know. I should have waited for the unboxing. But I've loved them. I needed face pads. I ran out of my first day beauty. I remember I got them. And so I used them. And I actually love them. And will probably be ordering more. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm kind of excited about is the Micellar Water. It's the Micellar Magic by Tarte. So I was really hoping that I would get this. And I got really excited to find out that I did. And this is $18.00. I love this stuff. I've never used tarts, but I've heard really good things about it. Um, I love that it has a little pump here for my little pads. So excited about that. The next thing I got was the Pretty Vulgar, and this is the eyeshadow primer. I don't really have anything from them, but I'm willing to try. So it's kind of thick. So at first it reminded me of Morphe's where it comes out like a little bit thicker. But once you rub it in, it really just kind of disappears. So I'll have to try it and see how it turns out. But when it doesn't leave like a thicker um, consistency behind, I feel as though it does not grab onto the eye primer the way that I like it to. And this was $22. So hopefully it's good on Mars. So the next thing I have here is the Appeal Ultra Cream Liquid Lipstick, and this is $21, and it's in this shade Sugar Spice, kind of like the lipstick I have on today. Kind of, very close. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this away for my giveaway that I am growing because I know that I won't use it, so I don't want to waste it. I'd love to give it to one of you beautiful people. And the last thing in my base box is the Studio Makeup Easy to Wear Eyeshadow Palette. So this is another thing I'm going to be putting in the base box. Just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes, I'm trying not to be as wasteful. So I know that I'm not going to use this palette, so I want to give it away. And this retails for $35. I have to be very careful because I am giving it away, but I do want to show it to you guys. So it's just a very beautiful neutral palette, but it has no unicarton. Boxy charm. If you're listening, I understand you probably get some kind of deal when you don't get the unicarton. But the problem is, this is so unsanitary. Like, this could come open at any point in the mail and get all kinds of gooky nasty in it. And it just kind of gets on my nerves. So, just trying to do better. I'll put that on the side. I'm probably going to put that in the giveaway or give it to somebody I know. I don't know yet, but most likely it'll be put in the giveaway. So that was my BoxyCharm May base box. And to be honest, other than two products, I was extremely disappointed. Um, it just didn't have what I thought it would have in it. It's just not, it didn't excite me at all. It wasn't good mm -mm. at all. We're gonna move on to the premium. Again, this one is a upcharge. It's extra $35 a month, which I have to remind myself to cancel so I don't get charged. Um, hear me out. This box, the sneak peeks, were awesome. There was a Too Faced palette. There was a Too Faced bronzer. There was all of these goodies you could have gotten. I did not get them. I feel like in this box, 
they took what they had left over from different boxes and tossed it into my box and that kind of made me mad because it's not what I thought I was given and now I know that they sent out it was like hey sorry your premium box wasn't hundred and seventy five dollars like it's supposed to be so we're sending you twenty five dollars off of our pop shop what no so and then I was like, okay, well, maybe it's not that bad. They had some serums. They had some creams. I didn't get any of that. When I tell you, I think they just threw stuff in here. I think they just threw stuff in here. And I think that that is completely terrible. I understand with everything going on in the world today, it's hard to get manufacturers to get you your stuff on time. But to sit there and just fudge my box um kind of irritates me so I will not be paying my money to this company anymore not the base box not the premium box like I've been off and on like I've canceled I've stayed I've canceled and at this point like I'm so done that it's beyond unreal like I just cannot with this company and it's one thing you're getting this and then it's oh some of you might get this and then it's no you're not getting this and then you're randomly getting boxes full of crap that was not even mentioned so I'm not going to be continuing for those reasons. I know that's very over dramatic, but it's how I feel because I've given them a chance and a chance and a chance and a chance and they have ruined it every chance they got. So I will no longer be opening boxies, charms boxes. Um, and for people who do get them and enjoy them, I am glad. But for me, it has just been a terrible nightmare over and over again. And I'm just not gonna let them try to get me to come back because they do every time and then I come back so let me open this box which by the way is the most wasteful box because these products could have fit in a smaller box they just did this because they're like well, let's throw it all in a big box and she'll think it's the premium so here's this this big box premium and this waste and more waste because it's just unnecessary and look at these <laughs> So I got the Spun Jelly Salted Rose Mani Petty Treatment Set. Again, this was not something that was mentioned as a premium item. There's no card for me to tell you how much anything is worth because what I've learned is if you don't get a card, it's because the stuff in your box was not meant to be in your box. So they don't have a card for it. But I don't know how much this was. I am gonna put it in the giveaway because I don't care for that brand as much. Um, and then another thing in here is the Tarte Base Tape, which I do not remember being mentioned anywhere. Um, this is actually a really good primer, but I have almost a full bottle of it. So I'll be putting this one into the giveaway as well, I believe. I'm not sure on this one. There are a few things in here that were supposed to be in here and I'm really excited. Um, it is the Milk the itty bitty milk blush and lip like glow oil lip and cheek sheer blush and lip stain I don't know I don't know if this is an actual size okay so after looking on Sephora's website this is actually the size that you get it in it is 0.18 ounces she's teeny tiny teeny tiny and it's like this orangish color I'm trying to get this Hello. Oh, it is really oily. So you just turn it like that. And that is the color. It's very pretty. And I'll go ahead and, yeah, okay. So it's basically not going to show up on my skin tone because it's barely showing up on my hand. Um, maybe on my lips, sure, um, as like a skin tint, but it's almost like melting a little. It's kind of gross actually. I love their products, but I don't know that I care for this one. And it smells weird. So this one I'm excited to try on my lips, but as for a blush, one, I'm actually not using oils on my face anymore just to help my skin. And two, it just doesn't look like something I want to put on my face after my foundation. I feel like anything oily is going to break up your foundation and your powders because that's what you use to remove makeup is face oil so I don't know how I feel about that on my face but definitely I will try it on my lip and the next thing it was actually supposed to be in there so 
Yay. Is the Ink Well Liner Longwear Matte Liner by Kat Von D. And this is in the color Lolita. I'm not going to open it because one, we all know what Lolita looks like because they overdo it. And two, I'm going to put her in the giveaway just because I'm, I know that I'm not going to use liner like that, like liquid liner on the top of my eyes in that color. So the next thing I have, I will also not be reopening because I have a ton of these. And this is the Rose Gold Retro from Stila. It is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are absolutely beautiful. I am super excited that I have this to give away to you guys. But I already have so many of them. And I actually don't use them that often. But they are really, really pretty. The last thing I have here is the Sugar Rush by Tarte Best Bud Lip Butter Balm in Peony. All right, so it is super cute. It has like this little beautiful yellow flower on the top. So extra. Ooh, oh my God, it smells like candy. I wish I didn't have lipstick on. I'll try it on my hand because I have lipstick on. So it's kind of waxy and a little thick. So I may use this as like an overnight lip balm, not a daily thing. Yeah, it has wax, that's what I thought. It's very, it's like a thicky, thicky, thicky. It's a thicky wax. It's a pretty thick consistency. Um, it smells really good and it is so cute. So I'm excited to have gotten that. Um, but that is all that came in my premium box and I am mad. So let's do my final thoughts. I, out of both boxes, was pleased to get the Tarte Makeup Remover the Elemis face resurfacing pads and the Sugar Rush balm. That's it. Out of two boxes that I paid $60 for. Um, so this one I'm curious about. This one I'm curious about. Well, the rest of it is going in a giveaway. And I don't mind putting it in a giveaway because I love that I can give back to you guys for being so supportive and so awesome. But also at the same time, like this is money that I spent out of my pocket and I really feel like they screwed me over this month. I understand. Like, let me say that again. I understand that there is a lot going on in this world. However, if you as a company cannot fulfill something, then that needs to be stated. Like just put it on your website, put it on your Instagram, whatever, and be like, hey guys, I know we promised you this stuff. Unfortunately, we can't fulfill that because of X, Y, Z, whatever the case may be. Instead of just continuing to like it didn't happen, sweeping it out of the rug, sending me $25 off of your pop shop, it's, it's just, uh, it's unsettling. I don't think that it was very good business practice the way that they did it. I think that it was kind of shady. And instead of just saying, hey, like you had the option for me to refund you your money, if you don't want these random products we're gonna send you instead of what we guaranteed you would have. I didn't get a palette, I didn't get bronzer, I didn't really get anything like that they said I was gonna get. So it's disappointing. Um, so I will be canceling both boxy charms so if you guys have another box subscription that i can join please let me know down below i think i might try ipsy because i've never done ipsy i did it like once a long time ago and i didn't like that it was like samples but people are like oh no they don't do just samples anymore so i might have to venture over to ipsy and see how it's going because boxy charms is not where it is it's not for me i'm moving on that's the tea that's it but if you guys had a really good boxy charm this month, if you had a really good premium box, if you got what you were told you were gonna get, then comment below and let me know what you got. I'm really disappointed. Um, I did get a few things to give away to you guys and I did get a few things to keep for myself, but I just was really let down. So unfortunately, bye bye boxy. We're done here, our relationship is over. It has been a long time coming on and off again, but officially, we're done. So as always guys, I hope you have a fantastic week. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.